What's happening YouTube? Android Audio Recorder Tutorial 6 accessing the Android hardware with Python and some Pi Genius. Yes, because it's a genius. The objective, guys, is to import Pi Genius, define a recorder class, which is going to be called My Recorder, an object, okay, and call the recorder when start is pressed. Alright? Now, if you navigate to this website, okay, we're going to have a little snippet of code here which is going to access. Um, the Android hardware so we can record some audio alright uh, it's got a little example here of how it's used okay I do advise that you look into Pi Genius if you want to learn more about it because you can access more than just an audio recorder but beware okay there is a mistake in this code okay I don't know if anyone spotted it but it's uh, it took me quite a while to figure out okay that this part is wrong do not put arm okay put AMR as the encoder okay there is a correct version somewhere on the net because I did find it once but uh, I can't find it anymore so it's gone it's gone forever okay right we can't use sleep with Kivi so we're gonna have to work around this and use the clock okay so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna schedule this um, bit of code here to be scheduled once okay so it starts recording um, at the same time as the update display function starts and here is where we name our audio file so you can name this whatever you like okay and the format is going to be 3GP which I have no idea what that is um, obviously you can probably experiment with uh, MP4 and stuff like that I haven't done that yet but I would assume that that would work okay so what we're going to do here is we're going to define first of all our Recorder class. Let me just have a little sip of coffee here. Nice bit of caffeine. Okay, so self. Aha, yes. Please, 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 please make sure you import Pi Genius, otherwise, Python's going to be like, what's Pi Genius? I don't know what that is. What is it? Tell me what it is. I want to know what it is. It's quite cool. So, from Genius Import Auto class. Okay. Let's make that a bit neater. Alright. Now, let's go back down here. Okay, so we've got class, my recorder, self. And now, all we're going to do is we're going to cut and paste. Okay, because it's faster. Okay, so we're just going to take this bit of code. But, not exactly as it is. We're going to take it from the line prepare because the rest of it is going to be called by our clock okay so just to up to the line that says record a prepare and also okay add a little sprinkle of self okay as you can see I've done here and there and all the code is in, this, in the description so you can download okay and have a look at in case you're having a, little, a few problems okay let's add a little comment here alright so the only changes I've made is self and also I have renamed the file, the output file that's going to be saved. Okay, so it's obviously SD card uh, forward slash my audio. Okay, SD card obviously is your Android device. That's where it's going to be saved. And we've got self dot media recorder rather than just media recorder. Okay, right, so that's cool. It's my audio 3GP right there right now let's see what we're going to do here we're almost there guys we're almost there all we got to do is define a start recording function to call the audio recorder okay so let's do that and this is going to be like 55 lines of code so get ready get your fingers ready I'm only joking, it's not going to be 55, it's not even going to be 20. Okay, so we do start recording self and then DT. Okay, because it's going to be called by the Kivi clock. Because we can't use sleep, remember? Alright. So, self.r equals my recorder instance. And then we just do a self.r.mrecorder dot start. And it's as simple as that. Okay, uh, so when the start button's pressed, 
this will be run the audio recorder is already prepared and it will start recording let's just add a couple of comments here okay we're almost there and the recorder objects okay and another little comment here I hope you guys are enjoying this. I'm going to get into some networking in the next tutorials. So we can build some fun scripts and tools using Python. Okay, so now what we have to do is schedule the function that we just defined. But we're going to schedule it once. So the start button's pressed, it gets scheduled once. self dot recording and it's as easy as that right so the users press start the recording started the display has started right let's just go through this just to make sure <coughs> excuse me and of course we have to unschedule the clock as well which is useful just to tell Kivi look finished recording save my file please <coughs> we're almost there stop recording so in the next tutorial we're going to be um, building the app and that's it with something called Buildozer Buildozer I wonder who thought of that name it's a cool name Yes, bulldozer. Okay. Now I did find um, an issue, it's probably me, with Kivi 1.9 when trying to build this. So I'm just using Kivi 1.8 rather than the master. Because um, it was fr it was giving errors um, when closing the the app. Okay, let's just delete this because we don't need it anymore. All we need to do is call self.stop recording and self.stop recording will take care of all the lines that we just took care of there. Okay, so as you can see the, the buttons are um, disabled equals false, a stop button disabled equals true and a switch disabled equals false. Let's just get rid of these. <coughs> yes, I think that's it. So, that's that function. It gets called up here. <coughs> if the stop button's called, um, called. If it's pressed by a human finger, yes. Or if the timer runs out, if the switch is on. Right, so it's just this snippet here. Please go over it. You're going to find it interesting. There's a lot more um, examples out there. So I do advise look at it because you can do a lot more. You can access the gyroscope, uh, the camera, and other parts of your mobile or tablet. And you can make it do what you want to. And that's what we want to do. So that's it. Thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, please subscribe and click the thumbs up. I will appreciate it. In the next tutorial, we'll finish a series. You would have finished your Android app. Okay, and we're going to be putting it on our Android devices. The link for the code of all the tutorials are in the description. You can also follow me on Twitter at NetPone. More tutorials coming. Keep coding. Keep being awesome. See ya.